Hello, y'all. I'm back. So, finally got laundry done. It's 11.44 a.m. And, um, so I got my laundry out of the way. Well, update is, um, well, in another room, the alarm was going off. And I wonder if they already had their script. I think that the, um, not all of them, all of them don't act like that, but some of the staff up front act like as if they're in on the gang stalking. One of them, well, no, two of them act like total perps, but one of them act like she's in on the gang stalking, but not full-fledged perping me, you know, but, you know, does some kind of perp things here and there, but, um, you, you know, otherwise kind of I guess nice or whatever but they tried that again we're trying to force me to wear a mask today most of the days they you know they leave me alone and I'm like why today so I'm like no I don't want to wear one so um you know I got my laundry done I told them about the alarm I'm glad they fixed the problem and they made it like as if, you know, the day before the person with, with the alarm problem was, um, you know, that they were having problems with the alarm going off. But it seemed synchronized and like they were like, like as if, I don't know if they had their script ready and just waiting for me to complain about something, you know, as another mark against me or something. But it seemed too synchronized and strategic. And now all of a sudden. You know, because it was very hard to try, to, even though I was able to get them, because it happened so frequently. So, um, that's how I was able to get them with, you know, them playing around with the alarm. And they use noise at usually like 621 or 622 in the morning. Um, like that idiot when I was staying by Janet in um April. They had that guy who waited till 621 exactly every morning, six exactly 621 in the morning. So then, you know, when I was living in Jefferson, Louisiana, Shrewsbury, um, that guy who I called Ted Vicious, whenever I upload a YouTube video about him, for some reason, YouTube distorts the video after I upload it. And, um... I had I had him on video perping me, and this was like the year 2018, I think it was, like February 2018, and, and you know, the guy, he would rev up, wait till 3 o'clock in the morning exactly, or exactly 3.15 a.m., and then exactly 6.15 a.m., precisely every morning, like, Damn, and and these were the crackhead perp neighbors um in Jefferson, Louisiana. That's part of New Orleans. Um, back in two thousand seventeen, two thousand eighteen, when I still had my Section Eight housing, and you know I had that guy on film threatening me um earlier this year, and then you know three days later was when Janet sent me here. You know um so. <clears throat> It's like, I, yeah, so I don't know what the, it's, I, I, like, I'm really kind of confused now that, um, basically the staff told me that the residents had already made a complaint about the alarm keep going off, but it seemed like perp activity because whenever I try to film it, they, the alarm be going off like crazy. And then the very moment I start to film it, um, that's when the alarm stops, like, right on cue, like, just before I can press the record button. So I know this is gang stalking and perping. It seemed like they got their, you know, they got their explanations doctored up in advance, you know. And so um, this was just an update on me talking about the, um, you know, the alarm situation. Because when I first got here, the alarm was already going off. And I'm like, wow, this bitch deliberately, intentionally put me in the room with the loud, I mean, the hotel with the loud, loud alarm going off. Because I guess because they knew I was coming because, you know, you have to call in advance 
and question and ask to see, you know, do you have any rooms available? So if they think you're coming or if they know you're coming, they have the, the gang stalking set up, you know, hours in advance. So that's all I'm going to say on this video. And I'll see y'all later on today. Bye.